airport, and then as ambassadors, we always come out and we pass out these blue badges, and you can only get it from either an ambassador or assistant director. And these badges are just to say that that um, member of the chapter really went above and beyond. Sometimes it's referral driven, sometimes it's one on one, sometimes it's dedication. So, um, first couple things that I wanted to talk about are some of the amazing staffs that you guys have as a chapter of your site. Wonderful. First and foremost, longest standing Maple Grove chapter. So you guys have been around for a little over 11 years. That is amazing. So a round of applause. That's huge. <laughs> Thank you for that part. And then two number staff things that I'm not sure that everybody's aware of. Hopefully, obviously, the leadership team is. But I went through and just kind of looked at some of your stats. And for the last 90 days, for thank you for closed business, your chapter gave over $404,000 business cast in this room. So that is amazing. Huh?
homepage in the upper right hand corner, there's a section that says members only. It's right up on the upper right hand. That's where you guys are going to click as members. And that's going to give you more access than somebody just coming in and checking out the website because you are a member. So you click in there and hopefully you know your password and your sign-on information. And um, you're going to get a different looking screen than that front screen. It's going to give you... Um, I think it gives you guys three different columns. And the middle column is what Jared wanted me to talk about. And what that middle column was is the toolbox. And um, I don't, I'm assuming you guys as a chapter have that toolbox available to you. Yeah. It's an amazing thing. Um, what it does is it gives you a lot of opportunity to check out different things and have different things and different numbers at your fingertips that you wouldn't have if you didn't have the toolbox. But <clears throat> inside that toolbox, um, the first thing in there that shows up is the chapter homepage. And what the chapter homepage does is not every chapter has this. If you have the toolbox, you have this. But it allows you to go to your particular site for Northwest for a minute. It allows you guys to look as well as others. And you can actually go and see um, your members. There's pictures sometimes listed. It talks about what business you guys have passed, what categories, and everything like that. So it's a personal homepage to you as a chapter. So that's kind of one of the neat things. Um, there's another one on there that not many people are using and is a wonderful tool. It's called the Evite tool. It's an online invitation that you can um, send. So maybe you have taken a card. Maybe you went to a chamber event and you, take, you took a card from somebody that you think really would be a good addition to your chapter. You can send them this Evite and it's kind of got, I want to say it's about five lines and it talks about how much business BNI has passed, um, how successful the organization is, where your chapter meets, what time. Um, and basically that you're wanting this profession to be represented. So this just sends out that um, evite um, to them and basically says, hey, we want to introduce you to our chapter. We want you to come in and we want you to you know, see the meetings. So that's a really neat tool. Speaker rotation list is kind of nice too, especially for secretary treasurer. When you keep it up to date and people are saying, hey, I don't know when I speak, it's really nice. They can go out, they can look at the speaker rotation list. You can see who's spoke in the past and you can also see who's coming forward. So maybe there's something you're interested in, maybe you're trying to figure out when you're on the rotation. So this is a nice list that helps you guys know that piece. Um, member bios, so it's a spot where you can also update your member bio. So if you have not, if you're newer, obviously that's a really important piece. Make sure you get out there and update that. And then for those of you that have been members for quite a while, the other thing is to make sure you change yours. Um, we have one person in our chapter, I think that's been there five years, and the burden is that everything has stayed the same for five years. The kids. We are now five years older. I mean, literally everything else is the same. So make sure you at least check it once a year to just see what do I need to update that my moves, you know, what's changed in my life. So make sure you get the opportunity to go out there and update that as well. Um, there's a couple other things. There's an extended profile. Not many people use it, but it really is kind of a nice thing. And you can actually look at other people's. So not just the basics about um, what you, what people should know about you, but some of the extended pieces. So maybe your education maybe some of your licensing, your certification, some of the things that maybe set you apart in your industry that maybe others aren't aware of. So you can do that profile as well. There's a substitute list. Um, we utilize that in our chapter. I think we have about 15 people. So as we have members come in and visit, um, if they don't join, we also say, hey, you know, would this be a good time to add you to our sub list? Are you interested in subbing? So we have an immediate sub list that we can look as a member as well as we have the one on the BNI site. So that gives you those. It tracks one-to-one -one dance cards that you can go in and track that as well if you want to do that. Um, thank you for Close Business is on there. The BNI game tool, so there's the opportunity if you guys have ever done that where you do the BNI game. A lot of times people do it during the summertime where um, it gets a little slower and people tend to not think, hey, you know, I don't want to go in today. It's beautiful out. But this game kind of gets people wrapped up and gets them back involved in BNI. Um, it also talks about where um, the costs. You know, when you're paying for your BNI dues, where do those, where does that money go? What is that for? Um, and then that's pretty much it in the toolbox. Ideally, obviously, we wanted to show you so that you could get in and look. But if you have not had an opportunity, please.